The Black Lawyers Association is staging a protest march to the office of the President of the Republic of South Africa. The purpose of the march is to voice the BLA's dissatisfaction on the state's alleged disregard of black and women legal practitioners in its briefing patterns and distribution of legal work. This march is directed to the head of state on the basis that the state is the biggest consumer of legal services in the country. As the BLA, we have taken a decision that we need to have a, an action. We are going to deliver a memorandum to the office of the president uh, to simply say to the president of the country, please, we, we want as black practitioners, both advocate and attorneys, to be briefed by both state, state-owned enterprises and municipality. We are saying we are tired about um, white racist briefing pattern in this country. We want to see black practitioners from the Constitutional Court, the Supreme Court of Appeal. We want to do work that our white counterparts are doing. Uh, we have been having engagement with the municipalities, the MECs, the ministers. It seems as if it's a, it's a round and circle. Therefore, we decided that we must come to the belly of the lion. We, we're sending this message to the president and we're saying to the president, we'll, we are here before you do something about the briefing pattern and the distribution of legal work in this country. Well, joining us live from Pretoria is ANN7 reporter Glengiwe Motaung. A very good morning to you, Glengiwe. Just give us an update as to what has happened and uh, perhaps if the lawyers have had any interaction with the office of the president. A very good morning to you and to the viewers at home. We are reporting live from the union buildings, just outside the union buildings, where the Black Lawyers Association members and attorneys' lawyers have been picketing outside. They have handed the memorandum over to government officials. Manla Ferry uh, from the presidency has received the uh, memorandum. It has been signed and they have agreed. They have welcomed their grievances and they will uh, indeed respond to their grievances. Right next to me is Lutendo uh, Sigogo. He is the president of the Black Lawyers Association. Very, thank you very much for joining us. Uh, how do you feel now that the memorandum has been signed by government officials? We, we are very uh, receptive of that. Uh, we are pleased that they've accepted it and they've indicated that they're going to go through it and they will, will get our response. They're going to act on it. So to us, that is welcome. How soon are they going to act on their response, on your uh, uh, pleas? We, we, we knew the magnitude of what we requested from them, and we gave them 30 work, uh, calendar days for them to respond. And uh, the rest of the lawyers, uh, what are their reactions towards uh, the, uh, the government's reaction? The, 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 our members are very pleased. They are happy because we have taken it up with our government. We found this other channel to talk to our government through the office of the presidency, and they know that their, their, their issues are going to be listened to. And uh, as we've indicated, if nothing happens of, of our demands, we're not going to, to let it go. We're going to take it to a next level and possibly will force them to brief legal, uh, black legal practitioners and women through our courts. How long are you giving them to respond to your memorandum? Um, we want uh, their initial response within 30 days, uh, 30 calendar days. And thereafter, we're going to work on a program with the government wherein we're going to indicate which other aspects of the memorandum should be done in terms of, uh, uh, over which period. Well, there you have it. That was Lutendo Sikoko. He is the president of the Black Lawyers Association, saying that they have given government 30 working days to respond to their memorandum. They just basically want equal opportunities in the legal framework. Uh, we have examples of uh, uh, the Sasa Constitutional Court case where none of the black lawyers that represented them, and they just want uh, equal representati uh, representation with black lawyers, especially women to also be involved uh, with uh, equal briefings. Uh, lawyers have dispersed now. It was quite a quick one, uh, but everything is quite back to normal now. Uh, back to you in studio. Thank you so much to our reporter there, Hengliwe Motang, joining us there from Pretoria, just giving us an update as to that story. That is the Black Lawyers Association that marched to the dissatisfaction of the state's alleged disregard of black and women legal practitioners. We do know now that a member memo has been received by the president's office.